Hello all this is Santosh and welcome to Tech Design. Hope everyone is doing great. So in this video I'm going to show you how to create or how to use extrude command in NX23 version. So extrude is a very basic command that is available in NX modeling application. I'm going to explain each and every feature options that are available in this extrude command so that it will be helpful for you to create complicated uh, models very easily please make sure you're watching video completely without missing any topic so now without wasting our time let's get started with the extrude command so now you can see here this is a simple model i have created in order to explain you a extrude command so that it will cover all the topics that is comes under extrude so now you can see here uh, when you go to home and when you are there in a modeling you can see here this is the application that we have active you can see nx modeling so when it comes to nx modeling and when you are into a home tab you can able to see this first command as an extrude so once you hit this you can see here there are a lot of options we are going to discuss each and every options that are available in this extrude command so when you open this as i always tell you so just reset this particular window so it will be reset to default values okay so now you can see here uh, we have a section and directions limits boolean operations and if you expand here it is going to show drafts offset and settings so these are all the things we have in this extrude so simple way in order to create an extrude is just select the curve and give the value here and click ok so this is going to be a simple way of creating an extrude so everybody knows that okay so now you can see here now i'm going to reset it again and you can see the select curve suppose if you have any curves either it may be created in a sketch or it may be a projected curve or it may be an intersection curve or any other edges maybe any kind of curves if you already have so you can just go to this section curve and you can select that particular curve okay suppose in your case in if you don't have a curve at all so in that case you need to create a curves by going into a sketcher environment once you are in there in a section command so you can see there will be a coordinate and which will you know once you select a face or sketcher plane so you are going into a sketcher environment so say for example i'm going to select this face and I'll, you can see here it is going into the sketcher environment and you can create whatever the shape or whatever the profile you want and you can just finish the sketch so once you finish the sketch you can see here the whatever the sketch you have created here that will be taken as a section curves okay and then it will be move on to directions so in my case you can see here this is the sketch which is a circle simple circle i already created and i'm going to select this circle and i'm going to show you how we can use the extrude command so now let me go to extrude and i'm going to select this as a section okay so this is going to be my section and once this is selected you can see the direction so now you can see here it is along negative y direction okay so this is going to be our negative y direction suppose if you want in positive y direction so just reverse it okay so you're going you can able to reverse it and you can able to give the extrude distance suppose in your case you don't want it in x direction or you don't want it in a y direction and in some other direction which may be different direction so in that case you need to go to this specify vector so these are the different types of you know giving the vector not only in extrude command it comes in most of the commands in unigraphics so i have already made a video on specifying the vector how we can use all these options in order to specify a different kind of vectors i will just give the video link in the description or in the comment box so you can just go to that video and check out how we can able to give different kind of vectors so by default when a section curve is selected normal to the section curve a vector will be taken that is what it is selected you can see here face or plane normal so whenever your sketch is selected normal to that plane or normal to that particular curve vector will be created okay so now we can see here limits okay so the start limit and then we have our end limit and also there will be a distance so i'm not going to discuss on start points here so start point i'm going to keep it as a zero and i'm going to explain all these things in the 
end value so this works in the same way for start value also okay so now start value is zero suppose if you have a distance say for example 50 mm you want a extrude so you can just enter the value if you have a distance 50 mm 100 mm or 120 whatever it is if you have a distance so end point you can directly go for value okay okay so next option will be value from start limit say for example my start limit is zero so that is why you can see here it is started from this sketch and from zero distance it is started the extrude say some person for example if i have given it as a 10 mm and my value for the end limit will be 50 mm and then in this case what happens is this 50 mm value will be measured from the sketch okay so whatever the section we have from this it will be measured 50 mm and extrude will be created suppose if you want to measure this value from the start limit from 10 mm so in that case you can just go to here value from start mm so you can see here as soon as we select a value it will be 10 mm will be reduced suppose if you select value from start limit 10 mm will be added to this so that is what the meaning of so if it is a value the distance will be measured from the sketch curve if it is value from the start limit so then it will be measured from this value okay and then the next option will be symmetric value so i think everybody knows about the symmetric the same distance will be you know um extruded in both negative and positive direction so you can see here 50 mm is given so 25 mm it will be in the positive y axis and 25 mm it will be in the negative y direction okay and then we have next we'll go to give it as zero and here i'm going to go to until next so until next is nothing but until whatever the next phase or plane we have so until that plane or until that phase it will be extruded you can see here this is our next plane so until this it has been extended so the next option will be until selected so until whatever the phase or a plane you are going to select until that it will be extruded say now i'm going to select this phase so if i select this phase you can see here until this phase it has been extruded so let me keep this boolean operation as none and you can see now it has been extruded until this phase suppose if i select this phase it will be extruded until this phase okay so now you can see until extended so people will get confused between until selected and until extended so that is why until selected is nothing but whatever the phase or whatever the plane that you are selecting should intersect with your profile okay so now you can see here until selected whatever i'm doing uh, you can see here until selected and this phase is just going to intersect with this particular sketch curve and it will be extruded so in until extended it will not be intersecting so you can see here this phase is not at all intersecting with this particular curve okay in that case you can able to select a until extended so you can so once you select this phase so it will be extended here so this phase will be the reference phase will be extended here and to make an intersection until that point your extrude will be created so the next option will be offset from selected so from this section if you want some with some distance say for example 500 mm so you can do that so from this section it will be 500 mm length so suppose from this uh, section if you want a 500 mm you can select this particular phase okay so that is what the meaning through all in the sense it will be through all the phases it will be going and it will end at last phase so this is going to be our last phase and until the last phase it will be extended so this is nothing but uh, limits so limit are different kinds these are the different kinds of limits and now what i'm going to do is i'll just keep it as 500 mm okay and then now it comes to boolean operations so boolean operation i think everybody knows that so unite is nothing but say for example if i keep it as none and i'll just 500 mm okay so i have given the 500 mm and now what i'm going to do is i'm going to keep it as a none and i'll just click okay okay so in this case 
it is not united with any body so this is going to be a different body and whatever this is going to be a different body so suppose in case in future suppose if you want to add any edge blend at this particular edge so you cannot able to do that because it is not united so you can see suppose if you, if you go to edge blend and if you try to give an edge blend here you cannot able to do it so in order to do this you need to unite this so you'll just double click on this and i'm going to unite this with this body you can just click ok now it will be united and if you go to x edge blend and try to give edge blend you can see here now it is able to pick the particular curve okay and one more option will be on subtract okay subtract you know that it is going to subtract the body you can see here this is being subtracted suppose if you give a more length it will be subtracted from this body also okay so that is going to be a subtract so intersection is nothing but the body which is common between one body to another body tool and target so that will be that remains in our end result so now in order to explain this what i'm going to do is i'm going to sketch a moment and let me go on this and now let me create a profile here so i'll just finish this and now what i'm going to do is extrude and this i'm going to select and it should be in the reverse direction okay so now i'm going to go to intersection okay so i'm going to intersect with this body and we can see the preview so intersection is nothing but it is a common body between the two bodies so i'm going to extrude this between this body this body this is going to be a common profile so common body so that it will be going to remain the other things whatever it is there it will be removed okay so that is what the meaning of uh, intersection on extrude so i'm going to double click on this and now you can see here there are a lot of other options okay so draft so draft you know, usually we also have a separate command here draft and also for unite and subtract there will be a separate command so even though there are separate commands everything is included here suppose if you want to you know minimize the number of features in the part navigator in that case you can use all the draft and uh, boolean operations everything in the extrude itself so now you can see here draft so draft i think everybody knows about how the draft works so now you can see here from start limit so if the none is there then it, it will not have any draft whatever the circle we have here so say for example 100 mm of circle in the end point also it will be same okay so now what i'm going to do is from start limit so start limit in the sense so from where it has been started from that start so you can see here this is the 2 degree you know angle suppose if you want to change it you can just give it as a 5 mm and you can just click okay and the next option will be from section so from section in the sense this section whatever the section you have selected from this section from start limit is from this limit say for example if you are given a 50 mm from this 50 mm the draft will be created from section in the sense from this section whatever the section you are going to select okay and it is going to be single or multiple say for example now you can see here we have only single face so single face is useful suppose if you have a multiple faces in that case you can just give the multiple faces here okay and then you can see here offset so i'm going to keep it as null okay so now you can see here offset so if i select a single sided offset so you are going to offset this along the section you can see here this is going to be offset and if you want to make it both sides so you can just go to both side you can see here inside and outside as well and if you want to make it symmetric so the next option will be on symmetric okay so this is going to be symmetric value and the next option is uh, whether you want to create a solid or you want to create a sheet so suppose if you want to create a sheet you can see here this is going to be a sheet so it is not going to be a solid body okay so let me keep it as a solid now and you can just click okay and this is going to be your extrude so this is how this extrude works guys so so you need to be very careful when you are selecting all these options so depending on your requirement you can able to select them and you can able to make a modeling okay so apart from this suppose if you miss to give boolean operation or if you miss to give a draft so this you can anyway you have a separate command for this draft and uh, unite and subtract so you can anyway come back to here and make, create a 
one more command for that particular operation so hope you enjoyed this tutorial guys and it clears all your doubts suppose if you have any doubts please comment in the section below i will try to answer thank you guys